What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. Ruben Tech's All Water Fishing. I am uh, well, I'm just leaving Bucky's right here and back in the uh, kayak again. Woo! It has been more than a minute, man. I'm telling you, I do apologize. You know, I want to get out in the kayak every snow day. I really do. I love kayak fishing. It might get a little dark right here, but um. I love kayak fishing. There's no other way I prefer to fish than in my kayak. Uh, originally started bank fishing when I was younger, bank fishing, pier fishing, like everybody else, turning a little bit of weight fishing. Then I bought a kayak and that would take me from spot to spot. And uh, initially it would just take me from weight spot to weight spot. And uh, you know, I started liking the kayak more and more and now, now I love it. Um, no better way for me to fish. Uh, I am heading to Galveston. It is October. It's not October yet. Uh, we got one more day, but then it's going to be pretty much October. And, you know, we love the hunt for the red October. We love hunting those reds and tracking those reds down, whether you're fishing off the surf, or jetties, or if rock goings, or if you're in your boat. Yeah. Uh, in the marsh, what have you. Uh, reds are a fun, tough, fighting fish. And I'm gonna be looking for those guys uh, quite a lot today. I'm trying to cut them off. There he goes, he got it. Try to cut him off going down that, going down the grass line. Not too shy away from my flatties. Dang it, he took off with it right when I was trying to set my hook. He took off with it. Dang it. Uh, I didn't set my hook. He just took off with it. I have been seeing people catch flounder in, in good numbers. Um, whether they're gigging for them or, or fishing via rod and pole. Anyway, thanks for coming back. Stay tuned. Hopefully, see me catch tons of fish. Well, we're just about at this area I want to fish at, and uh, right here behind me, there's a few reefs. I'm going to fish around them a little bit before I start waking, making my way back uh, out of the main uh, out of the main bay over here. Um, I'm going to be fishing around this area, kind of looking for sunrise bite. The sun is just barely touching the sky, so it's, it's very important to, uh, to fish around. Sunrise always seems like there's a nice bite. It's kind of like turning the lights on and... Uh, for all the fish out here especially if you're close to a new moon which we are real close to new moon so this morning bite should be pretty good uh, i'm going to get to casting and uh, see what i can find right now i'm going to be fishing with a voodoo shad so um let's take a look and see if i get someone to to, to bite on it um i don't like because i was coming over here in the dark i don't like the fact that i seen so many little needle fish um that's um uh, they could really start tearing up the lure. That's why I'm gonna fish with a, uh, a voodoo because they're they're pretty durable. It's funny because I could you know you can smell the fish a lot of times, especially when they're schooling and feeding, like trout and reds, or even gap top. But always looking for like slicks. I don't know if that's a slick or not. Might be a wind slick or maybe. Sometimes they can be it can trick you. They can be wind slicks or slicks coming off like the oysters on bottom. But kind of smell trout just a little bit. And the wind is coming straight to my face, so it could be right over to my left. But going, this scent could be going behind me. Well, I'm hoping this is a slick right here. There you go, something. There we go. It's a nice trout. Oh, oh, it might be a red. The way it's holding down. Or it might be a gaff top. Golly. This is all I caught last time. Stinking gaff tops in. I don't want to, don't want to net them. Because they're, they're super slimy. But, uh, they're a fun little fight. But, not what we want at all. 
so that is a little slick. I hope it's not a gap top slick. But yeah, like I said, these shads are these voodoo shads are really good and really durable. And I can catch almost anything, but I'm not gonna put them in the boat. You kind of see him, you get the idea. An undesirable little guy. We're gonna let him go right here, kind of just sliming up my line. You gotta watch out for those fins because they can be pretty can be a pretty dangerous fish to be fooling with. There's a drain right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast a couple times before the drain, and then I'll cast end the drain as well. So sometimes if you go straight to the drain and then cast in the drain, if there's anything on the outside, you'll spook it. And a lot of times there is. You can get lucky and catch fish on the outside, and then when you start casting in the drain, or further in the drain, closer to the drain, you can catch a different fish. So you can get, you can get lucky and get multiple fish out of the same drain. All right, let's go for the long cast. Getting there a little bit more. See if we can pull somebody out. Up in. Oh, there's one. There's something solid. That was a solid thump. That felt like a flounder. I'm going to give him a second to see if he wants to pop it in. If he's going to chump on it. Oh, what's he going to do? Lift it up. Feel the nose. Yeah, it feels kind of heavy. feels like a flatty. You get mine. Oh, dang it, he took off with it. Right when I was trying to set my hook, he took off with it. Dang it. Uh, I didn't set my hook. He just took off with it. I don't think the hook, good hook set on it. Try to swim with it. Oh. <laughs> what a punk! As soon as I go to set my hook, to reach back to grab my net. So let me grab my net. And uh, yeah, he just took off with it. See, I knew there was a fish in there. Uh, voodoo shad strikes again, baby. It's been a minute, been a minute, been a minute since we voodooed, voodooed, voodooed. There he goes. Nice guy. Let's get him measured up. See where he's at. Well, I was I was hoping for red, but I'm not going to uh, complain about a flounder. I did bring my bag, and uh, he's probably going to be, I'll say maybe 17 inches. He might be a little bigger than that, but he's probably be around 17. Make sure I was recording. Let's get him on the old lippers. Golly. He doesn't like to be, they don't like to be touched. Shh. If there's another fish in there, you're gonna scare him. Stop. Stop. Please behave. Please. I'll throw you in a nice cool bag. Look at that. I knew I didn't get him. See that? I knew I didn't get him. Because as soon as I want to go set my hook, he took off. Now here's the here's the lure right here. See, it's got a nice little rip on it from being out there. Um, had that uh, had a couple of nice good sized needlefish. Felt like yank on it. So, oh yeah, this guy's a nice play. Come on, I told you the 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 flounder have been showing to be pretty 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 thick and in, in good numbers. You know, as they're gearing up to start the migration. So it's one thing to fish for flounder, like during the flounder one run, um, when you can't keep them. I mean, it's a lot of fun, but you also can get them before when they start feeding, right before they start to move. And you can see how thick this guy is. You can see he's eating real good right here. So let's get him measured up and uh, and get him in that bag. I'm trying to get that closed mouth. So he's gonna be about 17 inches maybe six and a half with that closed mouth but yeah nice guy got him winning winning all right so i love this magellan bag people ask me all the time is it worth it yeah, it's 50 bucks I, I don't know how long i've had it i've had it for a while and i don't use it like all the time you know you can see how often i fish and whether I use it or not, I don't keep fish a lot. I don't use it a lot, so. But I am keeping fish today. Um, let's see how it goes. With the rest of the day, let's get this guy in there. There he goes. Come on, get in there. There he goes. There they are. 
Oh, it looked like a bunch of grass shrimp. Oh my gosh, they're just feeding on that grass shrimp right there. Bunch of shrimp. Just popping and popping and popping. Hopefully he'll he'll settle for this gope. Oh my gosh, that was even a terrible worst one. There they go, there they go. Come on, come on, come on. right there dang it don't want that slap of that kayak there he is right there trying to cut him off there he goes he got it try to cut him off going down that going down the grass line Whew. let's see if we can get him get him in He's just banging on that on that shrimp. <clears throat> oh, nice red. A little blue on his tail. He probably 21, 22 maybe. Perfect eating size. Let's see if we can get him. Head up, head up. A beautiful color, though. Beautiful color. Ah, all right. Beautiful color. Let's scoot away from this just in case there might be another one. Looks like there was a small school that was just banging, banging out that uh, that shrimp on that grass line. And uh, it looks like he hit on the top jig head, which was that small shad, paddle shad. But he's a, he's a perfect, perfect color. Nice red right there. Yeah, baby. So chat away. Imitate that, uh, that shrimp popping and popping in the water. He got it. And I got him. So let's see if we can lip him up. Look at that. Corner of the mouth. My lure is gone. Perfect. Perfect hook set. That's what you want to see. This beautiful fish. That's what we get up for. Look at this guy right here. Beautiful, beautiful fish. There we go. Nice blue tail. Just a beautiful, beautiful big fish. We'll get him weighed up. Or measured up. I mean, I could weigh him. Uh, he's gonna come in. It's around four pounds. And uh, uh, there, but they're just on a school of shrimp. There, you see that shrimp pop, 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 pop. And uh, he couldn't resist that. That gope didn't didn't have a shrimp that was matching that profile on. And yep. 22 and three quarters 22 and three quarters single dot on each side oh my gosh i love this Ooh, i love this where why have i not been fishing out of my kayak <laughs> well everybody that's gonna do it today you know what i had a lot of fun coming back out here and uh, doing a little kayak fishing out here in west bay it's a little warm no wind and not a whole lot of water movement it's been very very still today but uh you know this morning it was in the 70s about 77 degrees so that felt good but now we have the sun overhead and uh the bite has turned off uh, not too much going on as soon as the tide changes and starts going back out we should see uh, a nice afternoon bite but that's it you know what i didn't have a whole lot of time to spin out here on the water today but i did want to get out i didn't want to let another minute go by another day go by that uh i wasn't uh, out here and 
and fishing on a kayak. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go ahead and do so. Like the video, give a thumb up, leave a comment. All that stuff really helps the channel out tremendously. And hopefully, now that we're getting into a little bit cooler, or does it doesn't feel cooler, but a little cooler weather, uh, I'm going to need it less out offshore on uh, Got Her Hooked, and I'm going to be spending more time out here in my kayak, in a boat, in the bay, on the bank, wherever just uh, out here fishing and enjoying the day uh so i got a red and i caught a flounder i was trying again out here around these reefs and trying to get a um oyster reefs and trying to get a speckle trout trying to get one more fish for that uh for that texas slam you know and uh didn't happen but it's all good i really enjoyed myself and i hope you guys um enjoyed enjoy spending the day with me too and until next time hope you catch me hooking up thanks